Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the live text feature on your iPhone or iPad, and I'm also going to show you how to fix it if it's missing or if it's not working. Let's get started. All right, so we've got the iPhone 14 Pro here, but you can use an iPhone XS XR or any newer iPhone that's at least running iOS 15 for this live text feature to work. Now, I'm gonna go through some of the basics first, like turning on the live feature and then how it works, but if you are here for the fix or because the live text feature isn't there, you can skip ahead. The chapters are in the description. But for the rest of us, we're gonna start by going through how to turn on live text. So first, open the settings application. Scroll down until you see the camera option and open that up. From here, you'll see the option that says show detected text. And that is the live text feature. You wanna ensure that it's on. If it's off, it'll look like this. Turn it on with the green switch. Once that's on, we're gonna go through three ways that you can use this live text feature. And we're gonna start with how to use the live text with the camera app as it's the most popular. Now, what you need to do is just have anything that has text on it. For example, this card here, just open up your camera app any way you'd like. And you're just going to take your phone and kind of hover it over that text. Now you can see on screen of my phone, these little anchor points have surrounded the text automatically. You also see a little section right here. You just tap on that and it's automatically going to pull that section almost like a little screenshot on the phone. You'll get some options at the top. If they don't appear there, you can just tap and then they'll appear just like that. You have copy, select all, look up. You have translate, search the web and then speak. And then finally spell or share. And that's because it is selecting a specific option. So we'll just tap, we'll tap select all and it'll select all the text here. You can tap again. And from there you can tap to copy or use any of those options. So let's just say we wanted to copy this text. So for example, we've got the messaging app here, but you can use your notes app or anything. And all you have to do is tap in the text box, tap paste, and the text that was on that little card, just like this, is now right on screen for us to use. Now you can send this out just like that. If you're using this in a note app, you can save it. And what's great about this, if you are in class and everything's written on a chalkboard or a whiteboard, you can just take a quick picture of it and then you can just paste it to a Word document. That way you didn't have to write it all out yourself or type it out manually. Now, with that being said, there is another option, and this one's how to use the live text with iMessage. And since we're already in our messaging app, this is with text messaging, but iMessage works the same. To access this, once again, we're just going to take our little card here. And what you're gonna do with this app is just tap inside the blank text box. You'll see that same icon right there. You can tap on that icon, it'll bring up a little window at the bottom. And you'll see it's going to start filling in all the text up uh, very quickly. Now you can use this right here, tap insert, it'll automatically insert that in. But if you want to go back to the traditional screen, just pull away from the text for a second here. And you have a little icon there, which will allow you to pull up. So you just pull this whole screen up here like this. And now you can use the exact same thing we talked about with the camera app. And it's a little bit easier to use when you have what you want, just tap insert. It'll add it into the little box here, and then you can send that out the same way. The third option, I'm gonna show you how to use live text with the Photos app, and it's pretty simple. You just tap on the Photos app, find your photo. It can be an old photo, new photo, a picture you just took, and you just wanna pull it up here. So this one's pretty old, and you see that we have that little icon, once again, right there. We can tap on it. It's automatically going to select all the text on that page. You have some options to translate it, if we tap more, it's going to pull what it finds from that information and try to help you. In this case, we have some addresses. So if I tapped on it, it would open up our Maps app or website and we could just go to it. So we'll just tap away. But now that it is all selected, you're just going to use your finger, tap and hold, and you'll see it'll start to do that same thing where you have all of these options here that you can use. You can have these anchors so you can pull and gather exactly what you want from that text and then you can just choose what you want to do. If you want to share it, just tap share. It pulls up all of your contacts, your email options, airdrop, so you can send it over to another device. And this works exactly the same way if you're using it with your iPad. So we'll just do it once again here. I'll just tap and hold. We're going to grab, let's say that text, we'll copy it, open up a note. We can just tap in here, paste it. And now we have that information right there in our notes app. 
So those are three ways that you can use the live text with your camera app, photos app, or messages in iMessage. Now, for those of you with the issue where the live text feature is missing, I'm gonna show you right here by opening up the camera app once again, and you can see I don't have that feature there. Now, the reason for this is pretty simple. It's just an odd thing that Apple did. In your settings, tap general, and you're gonna to go to the language and region. And for whatever reason, live text is sitting here off on some phones in some regions. So what you need to do is turn that on first. Then from your main settings page here, go to the camera section once again, and you should see show detected text and your live feature should be back. Now, if you're looking for a fix for the live text feature not working, there are a few things you can do. First, close the applications that are using your camera. So mainly the camera app, the notes app, photos, whatever may be using your camera, just close those applications. Go back into settings, go into those camera settings and see if the detected text is there. Turn it off and on one more time and see if when you open up your camera app, it works for you. If it doesn't, the next step is just simply turning off and on your iPhone. That's pretty simple. You're going to press on the side button and hold while you're pressing on one of the volume rockers and holding at the same time. You're going to hold until you see this page. Swipe to power off the iPhone. It'll take about 30 seconds to power off. And then what you want to do is press and hold on the side button here once again to turn the iPhone back on. Once you've done that, open your settings again, go to the camera settings, make sure show detect text is on, turn it off, turn it on, go back into your camera app, and then attempt to have it detect your text. And it should work. Now, in some instances, all you need to do is run an update on the iPhone. So if it's not working for you, open your settings and go to the general tab, tap on software update and let it search for an update. If it pops up with an update being available, you want to run that update. And then once again, you're going to go back to your main page here, go to the camera settings, and then just turn off the show detect settings and turn them back on, go back into your camera app and attempt it once again. Now, if all of those methods fail, it's still not working or it's still not showing up. The last option that I can suggest is a full restore of your iPhone. So what you would want to do is back up your device first. You can do that through iCloud in your Apple ID settings, or you can back it up to your computer. Whichever way you want to back up all your information, you can. You're then going to restore the iPhone to its factory settings or restore it from your backup. Now, there is videos online that'll show you how to do this if you don't know how. It's a little bit time consuming, but that would be the method. And then once again, once your phone is back up and running, you're going to go through all the processes of going to your camera settings and then trying that camera option once again to see if it does pop up when you have something with text on screen. If this video was helpful, hit that like button. It helps my channel and helps people find this video. Also subscribe and click the bell notification box if you're looking for more iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most out of it. And if you have any issues, feel free to ask in the comments. And if you are looking for more great tips and tricks, there's a full playlist of iPhone tutorials in the description as well. Once again, this was how to use live text on the iPhone and fix a missing live text or a not working live text feature. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.